This video demonstrates how to use Aspen Plus software to simulate a basic heat exchanger. The problem statement is as follows. Use Aspen Plus to simulate a heat exchanger that cools a hydrocarbon stream with water such that the hot stream exiting vapor fraction is equal to zero. The hydrocarbon stream enters at 200 degrees Celsius, 4 bar, and a flow rate of 10,000 kilograms per hour with a weight composition of 50% benzene, 20% styrene, 20% ethyl benzene, and 10% water. The cooling water enters at 20 degrees Celsius, 10 bar, and a flow rate of 60,000 kilograms per hour. Determine the hydrocarbon stream outlet temperature and the area required for heat exchange. To begin, open Aspen Plus and select New, then click User, and General with metric units. Because the problem is specified in metric units, this preset will save us a little time later. Before we enter any information, we are going to draw the setup. Click on Simulation in the bottom left corner. Under the Exchangers tab on the bottom menu, click on the drop-down menu of Heat X and select the heat exchanger shown. Left click to place it on the screen, and then right click or press escape. We can rename the heat exchanger by double clicking on the generic B number and typing in heat X. We can reposition the name if it is in the way. Next, we're going to draw the inlet and outlet streams. Select material and draw the entering and exiting hydrocarbon and water streams. Make sure to note which inlet is the hot input and which is the cold input. Rename the streams hot in, cold in, hot out, and cold out. Now that the schematic is drawn, click the green next arrow at the top of the screen to begin entering information. On this screen, type each chemical present in the process. This includes benzene, styrene, ethyl benzene, and water. Type EB for ethyl benzene, as you cannot type more than 8 characters into the component ID box. Click Setup on the left menu tree. The valid phases for this system are vapor liquid liquid because the hydrocarbon stream enters as a vapor but is partially condensed in the heat exchanger. Two immiscible liquid phases will form one rich in water and one rich in organics. Therefore, three valid phases will be present at the heat exchanger outlet. Clicking the next arrow, we now have to select the thermodynamic property method. We will choose the non-random two liquids redlich quang method. This is abbreviated as NRTLRK in Aspen. Clicking next again brings us to a summary table. Click next and run the property analysis by pressing OK. Once the property analysis is complete, click next, select go to simulation environment and press OK. Click the next arrow to input information on the entering cooling water. From the problem statement, we know that it enters at 20 degrees Celsius and 10 bar. We can change the flow basis to mass and specify that all 60,000 kilograms per hour are water flow. Click the next arrow to input information on the entering hydrocarbon stream. The problem statement tells us that it enters at 200 degrees Celsius, 4 bar, and a flow rate of 10,000 kilograms per hour. We can specify the composition by selecting mass frac for mass fraction and entering 0.5 for benzene, 0.2 for styrene, 0.2 for ethyl benzene, and 0.1 for water. Note how Aspen automatically totals the mass fractions so we can ensure that it is equal to 1. Click the next arrow to specify information about the heat exchanger. We are going to use the shortcut method so we do not need to know the exact geometry of our exchanger. We will keep the flow as counter current and use the design method. From the problem statement, we are told the hot stream outlet vapor fraction is equal to zero. We can specify that on this screen. Before we run the simulation, we have to change one more thing. Click on block options in the left hand menu tree. Because water is on the cold side of the heat exchanger, we cannot use the NRTL RK method for our thermodynamic analysis. We should instead use the steam tables to calculate these data. Select steam TA from the drop down menu. Click on the next arrow and press OK to run the simulation. We are told that a solution converged. To view the results, click on Thermal Results in the menu tree. We see that the hot stream outlet temperature is about 120 degrees Celsius. If we click on the Exchanger Details tab, we see that the area required for heat exchange is just over 20 square meters. To learn more about Aspen Plus, watch the video on the detailed heat exchanger simulation.